Pakistan has occupied centre stage within the Foreign Office for several days. Not only the recent terror bombings, but also the political uncertainty. It's these points which the British Foreign Secretary referred to. Uh, I think we've reached a decisive moment in the history of Pakistan. Uh, over the last two weeks, we've seen bombings in Karachi and in Rawalpindi, which shows that the terrorist threat is real. But over the last two days, we've seen decisions that have set back the process of democratic transition that I think is essential for the stability and security as well as development in Pakistan. I think now is the time for leadership from President Musharraf and from opposition leaders. For opposition leaders, they have shown real statesmanship, I think, over the last few days in calling for restraint. But the time is now for President Musharraf to be absolutely clear that elections will go ahead on January the 15th on a free and fair basis, that he will indeed resign as the head of the army by November the 15th, that the arrests of political prisoners will now be reversed and that they will be released, and that the restrictions on the media that have been brought in will be stopped and reversed, restrictions including uh, on the BBC. There's one final point which I need to reflect as British Foreign Secretary. The very large Pakistani community or British community of Pakistani origin that uh, lives in this country is obviously going to be very concerned about the situation that uh, they see on television screens. I want them to know that the government shares their concern has transmitted that concern at the highest levels to the Pakistani government, not least through my conversation today with Foreign Minister Kazuri, uh, who spoke to me from Islamabad, and that we will continue to voice the, those concerns at this vital time for Pakistan. He believes the moderate majority in Pakistan must be heard. Well, I saw for myself in July when I visited Pakistan that the security situation there is difficult and testing for any government and we shouldn't underestimate the pressures that exist and we saw the tragic loss of life uh, just two weeks ago so I don't think that can be uh, underestimated but I think the decisions that have been taken over the last two days are not in the interests of Pakistan and are not in the interests of the fight against terrorism we need the moderate majority in Pakistan to be rallied and the only way in which they can be rally rallied is through the democratic uh, process. I think now is not the time for hypothetical uh, judgments about what might happen if progress is not re-established. But I do think that the unanimous view of the international community is important to the government of Pakistan. And I think the responsibilities are clear to ensure that there is a real alliance between the mo moderate majority in Pakistan and its government to marginalize extremists. A point the Foreign Secretary repeated again following talks with the Greek Foreign Minister in London. Well, I think that the uh, decision for uh, who should be the uh, government of Pakistan is an issue for uh, the people of Pakistan. My own very strong view is that democracy is the ally of security and moderation in Pakistan. Uh, General Musharraf's commitment to resign as chief of the army, to hold free and fair elections, uh, is one that we think is very important indeed and one that I hope we will see clarity on uh, very soon. Pakistan is an important ally in the international fight against terrorism. Its political stability will remain under the British spotlight in the immediate future.